Hey guys, Cash One coming at you with a brand new video. This video is another tag video for you guys. So, this tag video is called the uh, Remake versus Original Tag, and this was created by Rob over there at uh, Movie Review Time. So, shout out to you. Thank you so much for tagging me. Awesome tag. So, this is a uh, 27 um, questions, and well. What it basically is, is 27 movies plus a bonus, which is number 28, of uh, the original versus the remake. And then I choose which one I prefer. So, um, there's a few here I haven't seen in a long time. Some I might not have seen, but I'm going to uh, answer to the best of uh, what I remember. So, the first one, number one, is the Enemy Horror 1979 versus the 2005. So, I haven't seen the original in like forever. And, um, 2005, I remember being pretty cool, but, um, I'm going to go with the original, just because I do remember that it was really good, and I know the, the remake was cool, but I'm going with the original, 1979. So, number two is Black Christmas, the 1974 versus the 2006, so, for that one, I'm choosing the original as well, 1974, classic. Um, I still need to pick up that Scream Factory. But yeah, I'm picking that one. So number three is Dawn of the Dead, the 1978 or 2004. Now both movies I love. They're both awesome. But the 2000, let's see. The 1978, the original, is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. I love that movie. Although I was very happy with the remake. I thought it was really, really well done. I am picking the 1978 original. Um, number four, Evil Dead, the 1981 or the 2013. Um, the 1981, again, I like both of them, but I'm picking the original 1981. So, uh, let's see, number five, The Fog, 1980 or the 2005. So, that's a no-brainer. The original, John Carpenter's classic. Um... The only thing that I think was good about the 2005 was that they cast Tom Willing, but I felt like it was a waste of um, talent. They just, I don't know, that movie was, like when they announced that they were remaking it, I remember everybody was like, why are you remaking it? You don't need to remake it. I mean, there's so many movies out there that they probably could remake that weren't good, and they could make it, make maybe make them good. But then they decide to remake all these classics and all this stuff because they know that there's a fan base and people are going to go look, go, you know, buy tickets. I mean, come on, don't stop remaking stuff that's good, guys. Remake something that was bad and try to make it better. But you know how Hollywood is, guys. Okay, number six. So this one is, um, this is kind of a, um, combination of movies. This is the Friday the 13th, the 1980s. Uh, the first three parts um, versus the 2009 because the 2009 remake it basically covered the first three parts and um, I like the 2009 I thought it was cool I know there was some stuff that was off with it but I still had fun with it but I'm picking the originals um the uh, Fire 13 you know the, those first three were really good and especially the the first one you know with um with uh jason's mom going around killing people that was cool that's a fun movie it has some awesome kills in it and um pretty much you know that that was i mean it was the dawn of the the slasher movies you know just getting the start and i mean if it wasn't for some of these movies they wouldn't even be some of these other movies so i have to pick the originals the the first three of friday 13 so number where we at? 7. Fright Night 1985 or the 2011? Fright Night 1985. 2011. I don't know what they did with that thing. Um, nine, Let's see. Number 8. Halloween 1978 or 2007. Rob Zombie. Um, Halloween, the original uh, John Carpenter's movie. I love that one. That's like um, my favorite horror movie. Uh... I, the 2007, the thing with that is, the first half I hated, the second half was okay, and I kind of, I didn't hate it, 
um, until the sequel came out. And after that came out, then I really disliked it because I felt that Rob Zombie lost. Um, he missed his opportunity of what he could have did with, with a franchise and he screwed it up. So, I, I really don't like those movies. Um, those, the, the, uh, remake from Rob Zombie. I was, I was like, come on, man, you could have made this. And he, he screwed it up. So, anyway, so, the original. Um, I gotta write and see where we at here. Number nine, The Hills Have Eyes. 1977 or the 2006 both are great movies but i'm gonna pick the original west craven the master i'm picking the original okay let's see nine number 10 the hill the let's see the hills number 10 is the hitcher 1986 or the 2007 uh the 1986 i'm picking on which needs a blu-ray bad and even the 2000 uh Seven doesn't even have a Blu-ray, so. But 1986, I haven't seen that movie in forever. I wish it would get a Blu-ray release. Um, I don't even own it. I haven't seen it in such long. I remember when it was on DVD, it was like very hard to get out of print, and I wasn't able to grab it. And now I'm just waiting for a Blu-ray to eventually surface. You know, Screen Factory, come on, release it, please. So, the original. Uh, number 11, uh, House of Wax with Vincent Price from 1953 or the 2005. I like the 2005. A lot of people are like, what? I know there was a lot of problems when they did that movie too. There was a lot of, uh, I think it was like a fire on the set or something. I'm not sure. But I'm going to pick the original, um, Vincent Price, 1953. Um... Let's see, we got number 12, House on Haunted Hill, 1959 or 1999. Oh, an another Vincent Price classic. Uh, So, again, I like both of them. I haven't seen the, the original in a really long time, so I'm going to pick the remake on this one, the 1999 one. And I know Screen Factory got that coming out soon. So, And uh, number 13, I Spit on Your Grave, the 1978 awesome classic or the 2010 really good remake so again i like both of these movies um i like the 1978 when that came out you know when that was that was like very brutal and, and it was different and it, it, it really was something uh very graphic didn't that remake they did i felt like they upped it and i, I actually liked that one a little better so i'm gonna pick the remake the 2010 um, remake, but I, I mean, I do like the, the original too, but I am picking a remake on this one. Uh, so, now let's see. Number 14, Last House on the Left, 1972 or the 2009 remake. I'm picking 1972, the original, because I didn't see the remake. Um, that one, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't see it, but... Um, I don't know if it's any good because I haven't heard anybody talk about it, but I'm picking the original. Um, let's see. Number 15, My Bloody Valentine, 1981 or the 2009 remake. Um, I like the remake. I love the original. So the, these are a little hard for me because I'm like torn, but I am going to pick the original for that one. Although I have fun with the remake. Um, let's see. Number 16, Night of the Living Dead, 1968, or the 1990 remake, which is a good remake. But I'm picking the classic, George A. Romero, uh, Night of the Living Dead. Love that movie. Always have to watch it around Halloween time. It's a classic. I feel like that's what, like, started the whole, like, uh, zombie, you know, genre. I love that movie. I feel like any of this stuff, you know, all the zombie stuff, we wouldn't even been around if it wasn't for for um, him starting it out. So, I'm picking the original. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street, 1984, the 2010 remake. So, that is another no-brainer for me. The original 1984 classic Wes Craven and the one only Robert England as Freddy Cougar. 
Now that remake, oh my goodness, that remake was so freaking bad. I remember going to see it and I was like, I didn't have high hopes for it. I wanted to see it because I wanted to see, you know, what they done with my beloved franchise. Because I love the Nightmare on the Street franchise. It's, it's my, like, my favorite horror franchise. Freddy Krueger is my favorite horror icon. So I wanted to see what they did with it. And, um, I, I don't know. If I was disappointed, I mean, because I didn't have high hopes on it. I just, like, like after watching it, knew that, like, like, yeah, I, I knew they were going to screw this shit up. This movie's freaking bad. And I even bought it. When it came out, I bought it on Blu-ray because it had this cool lenticular slipcover. I bought it. I was like, okay, I'm going to buy it. Maybe I'll give it another chance to see if I like it. And I watched it. And I was like, why? Why? Why did I buy this crap? This is freaking... So, yeah, I don't have it on Blu-ray. I have it in my Voodoo. But if I ever feel like watching it for some weird reason, I'm like, I need to watch this remake again. I don't know why because it was so bad. So, no. The 1984 original, 100% hands down. Um, yeah, so I, I, I could rattle on about that, ramble on for that forever. But um, next we got number 18, the Almond 1976 or the 2006, the original. Uh, the 1976, the original. Um, number 19, Poltergeist 1982 or the 2015. The original again, 1982. I love Poltergeist. It's one of my favorite um, horror movies of all time. Now, I didn't hate the 2015. I actually liked that. I thought it was cool. But the original is a classic. I mean, I probably don't see myself watching. I'm looking over there because I, I see the remake is over there because I got it from Horror Pack a while back and it's still sitting over there for some reason. But yeah, um, the original, 100%. Like I was saying though, the remake is okay for me. But, um, it, uh, if I ever gonna watch Poltergeist, I'm popping in the original and then the second and the third. Even the third is better than the, the freaking remake. Although, like I said, the remake, I liked it, but, I mean, I don't see him making a sequel. I mean, that's how, like, it was. It was, like, it's, like, forgettable, you know? Like, you watch it, like, oh, it was cool, I guess. But they're not gonna make a sequel. I know a lot of people hated on it. Um... Because you didn't, they didn't, they didn't need to touch it. Like I said before, why remake something that is awesome when there's so much stuff that they've done that is not good? Then they could like make it, make it good, you know. But anyway, me rambling again. Let's see if we can find the next one. We're on number twenty, Psycho, nineteen sixty or the nineteen ninety eight remake. Psycho, another one of my favorite horror movies of all time. And, um, another thing I, that I think, uh, like, um, one of the, like, almost the granddaddy of the slasher movie cycle. Um, so, I am picking the original, hands down. The remake, I don't know. I, I didn't care for it all that much. I don't, like I said, I don't see myself watching that one again. Although, I think I have it on my voodoo, maybe. But I don't own, own it on this. But yeah, the original cycle, 1960. Uh, number 21, The Stepfather, 1987, or the remake, 2009. The original, 1987. Uh, number 22, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 1974, or 2003. And um, that 2003 remake actually was really, really good. It was They actually did a well job on that one. Um, I actually liked that one a lot. And, um, I actually find myself watching that one sometimes more than the original. But, again, I'm going to go with the original because it's just, you know, it's such a good classic. I'm, you know, I'm going to go with it. But I do like that remake. But I'm going with the original. Um, so, let's see what we got here. Number 23, When a Stranger Calls in 1978 or the remake from 2006. I'm picking the original. Uh, from 1979. I hope I'm not missing up some of these years because I got them all written all. Okay, number 24. Carrie, the 1976 or the 2013. Now, I'm picking the original 1976, but I, I did enjoy that remake. Although, it's so close to the original. Although, I did enjoy some of the, the, um, the effects. I, I did like it, but 
I'm still going with the original from um, 1976. Um, yeah, the 1976 original. Such a classic movie. That one, if I'm going to watch it, I'm going to pop that one in. I mean, I'm not probably going to watch the remake um, too much. but So, number 25, The Fly, 1958 or 1986. The Fly, 1986. Um, I love that movie. It's one of my favorite remakes from horror movies. Uh, next to um, a couple other ones that weren't on this list. Uh, next to the the blob and the thing remakes those are like my three favorite horror uh, remakes those ones so number 26 we got prom night 1980 or 2008 so we're picking the original prom night 1980 and number 27 the last of the regular questions on here it the 1990 or the remake from 2017 now the 1990 miniseries so it's fun. I mean, it was really cool at the time, and um, I like it a lot. But it's very dated. I mean, the remake. I actually really had fun with that one. I liked it a lot. So I am, I'm going to go with, with the remake. Not, not, you know, nothing against the original because the original is awesome. But I'm going with the remake on this one, the 2017. So. Next we got number 28, which is the bonus. And there's three movies on this list. The Mummy from 1932. Uh, 1999 or the 2017. So the 1999 is with Brendan Fraser. 2017 is the Tom Cruise. So... The 1932 is the classic universal one, um, which I have great nostalgia for the, the, the universal monster movies, and um, I but I haven't seen them in a while though. So um, I, I love the, the the Mummy from 1999. I thought that was really cool because you know you got almost like you got a trilogy out of that, and um, I had fun with those. I always thought they were really cool. And um, when they announced that 2017 with Tom Cruise, I was like, why? Why don't you just make another one with Brendan Fraser? Why even try to... I know they were trying to, like, like launch that universal dark un universe thing that they were trying to do for the universal monsters and stuff. But, which I think they pretty much, like, um, gave up on because the mummy bombed big time. Because it sucks. Yeah. So, I'm definitely not picking... That one's out of there. Like, forget it. So it would probably be between the 99 or the 32. And um, even though I love the Brendan Fraser one, I'm going with the, the classic Universal 1932 one. So that was the 28 or 27 remake, first original plus bonus 28. So there's 28 movies to pick from, remake versus originals. Um, I am going to list them all down below so you guys can write them down. I'm going to tag a few people here. And uh, we are tagging the whore, the whore, Jenna over at the whore, the whore. I'm tagging you. I would like to see you try to do this. Um, number two, I'm going to tag Dr. Movie 91. I would love to see you do this one. Uh, number three, I'm tagging the whore freak 85. And number four, fish over there, ugly red source of all evil. So those are the four people I'm tagging. I don't think any of one, any of those have been tagged yet. So if you guys don't want to do it, you know, no pressure. If you want to go for it, um, if I didn't tag you and you're watching this and you're like, ooh, this would be fun, I want to do this, go for it. Um, you know, we like to try to get all the, the horror community involved and, and, you know, have fun with these tags. So... Go for it if you would like to do it. Um, again, huge shout out to uh, Rob over there at uh, Movie Review Time. Thank you again for tagging me. Awesome tag. This was a fun one. Um, got me thinking. So, some of these I need to rewatch again because I haven't seen in such a long time. So, again, this is uh, Cash One.
If you're new to this channel, hit that like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of my answers. If you agree, if you disagree. As always, guys, Blu-ray, this is awesomeness. Until next time, peace out.